Hi, this is Dave McCarter, also known as Donut Dave. And welcome to another episode of 256 Seconds with Donut Dave. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done one, and, uh, and this one might not be 256 seconds, and you'll see why. So this coming Tuesday, July 2nd in 2019, will be my 25th anniversary speaking at conferences, user groups, companies, etc. And I'm actually speaking on the actual day I started speaking for the very first time in 1994. So I've been speaking for 25 years now. And during those 25 years, I've learned the hard way usually of how to prepare, what to bring when you are speaking at a conference as a speaker. Some things might totally be obvious, like bring your computer, of course, bring your PowerPoint deck, bring your demos. But there's lots of other things I've learned during the years that I want to share with you that I bring in this awesome Pelican case that is so strong, I can stand on it. I won't do it, uh, but I can stand on it, which I have before, and it can actually go 50 feet under the water and still be okay. So if my plane crashes in the water, I'll be cool. On the land, eh, we'll see. So let's go through the case. So this case is the case I take every time I speak, and it doesn't matter where I'm speaking, I take it, because it has everything I need in it, uh, except for water. <laughs> so let's start on the top, going left to right. So up here on the top pouch, I have lots of cables. Let's let I go through them real quick. I'll take them out, and then I'll put them back in. So I learned this the hard way in Atlanta this year. The first day I spoke at the conference, I used this HDMI connector, which is my newer one. You can see that there. And uh, worked fine. And this is the one I usually use. But on the second day, I went into a different room with the same projector model and make, but that connector didn't work. So luckily, I had this connector in my bag, which also supports um, HDMI and VGA. And I had this one work fine. So uh, lesson learned, always bring two uh, display adapters to the conferences. Next thing I have is just a power charging cord, just in case I need to charge something up uh, while I'm at the conference or while I'm speaking. As you'll probably see going through this, I have backups of lots of things. So on this bottom pouch, I have one of the most important things you need while you're speaking, and that's business cards. Most speakers I see don't have business cards, but uh, you need to have them and have them available for your attendees so they can take your information, your phone number, your website address, all that kind of cool stuff, and a nice little card. They don't have to write it down or make a note or email it to themselves. And it's a good marketing opportunity for you. So that's about it for the bottom pouch there. The next pouch, I have my clicker, uh, well, my remote clicker, all my conference sessions, uh, do not require me to be at the computer at, at all. And if you've ever come to any, any of my sessions, I walk a lot. I measured it once. I walked about three miles in one hour. So uh, clicker is very important to me because I don't like going back and forth to my computer just to advance the slides. Also, I have some, I have a backup microphone. I'll talk about that a little bit more. I have a couple other little things in here, but the most important thing I want to, uh, I want to talk about is my USB stick. So on this USB stick is all my presentations, just in case. You never know. You can't get to OneDrive or you can't get to Google Drive if you have them backed up there. Uh, your computer breaks down. You have to use somebody else's computer. Everything's here. So always have a backup of your presentations that's not in the cloud and not on your computer. <laughs> this pouch is my battery pouch. And I have just about any kind of battery one in here. Uh, nine volt batteries, double A's, uh, triple A's. I have tons and tons of batteries in here. So I have lots of batteries in my case and every kind that I would ever need and lots of them. And, and you'll see as we go along why I need these batteries. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is because of uh, partially because of the batteries and partially because of all the wires and cables in here, when I go through uh, the security checkpoint at airports, 
Uh, many, many times this bag gets bomb sniffed. I don't know how many times this bag has been bomb, bomb sniffed. Uh, I, I, I find it kind of funny, but I understand why they pull it aside. I probably would too if I was a TSA agent. And last on top here, which I haven't actually had to use any of these cables in a long time, but they're still there just in case. Uh, I always prepare for the worst. Uh, I used to be a Boy Scout, maybe that's why. Uh, but these cables I haven't used in a long time, and they are a backup um, HDMI cable, a backup extension cord, very important. You never know where the power is going to be if you need power. Uh, for one, two hour uh, sessions, hopefully you don't need power, but if you do, um, I have a back, I have a uh, center cord. And um, for those really old places, I have a VGA extension cord. That's it for the top. Uh, let's go for the bottom, which has a lot more stuff. So first off, we have my Surface laptop. I love my Surface laptop. I've had it for about a year now. And uh, this laptop replaces my MacBook Pro. In the past, uh, even before most people were using Macs in my world, because they used to make fun of me all the time and you know who you are, I always used a MacBook Pro for presentations because it was flat out the best presentation machine at that time. And I'm talking about 2005, 2006 timeframe. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. My favorite machine now is my Surface Laptop. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend getting it. I've had, like I said, I've had it for a year. Nothing has gone wrong. It's worked perfectly. I haven't had to rebuild it, nothing. Um, I love this thing. Next, of course, I have my power. Uh, like I said before, generally, I hope I don't have to plug in power for an hour or two hour presentation, but I definitely need this when I teach longer sessions and or do workshops. So definitely need power. I have a notebook and in here I can make notes, but sometimes if people win uh, software that I give away, I have them write down their email address so I, I can send them their keys and stuff like that. And um, I actually have a few names in here. So those of you who recently have won something, you need to email me so I can uh, send you your prize. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, I have a notebook for that. Under that, I have my, what I call my red goodie bag. And my red goodie bag actually serves a couple purposes. So let's talk about the first purpose. The first purpose is it holds all kinds of really good goodies like um, uh, stickers that I give away or throw out here, some Cosmos DB stickers. I have some of my own stickers for my conference tours that I throw out, give out. I have some of my uh, uh, concert uh, tour magnets I give out, um, lots of things. Uh, one of the most important things in here, really, is my uh, my square uh, Bluetooth uh, card reader for when people purchase my books or DVDs. Well, nobody buys DVDs anymore. But when they purchase my books or anything else I have to sell to pay for my travel costs. Uh, so very important, especially because uh, um, most cards have a chip in it now and you need this thing. And I call it my goodie bag because it does have lots of stickers and stuff I give away and things like that. Something else I put in here are any certificates for software I'm giving away at my sessions. I use software uh, giveaways at my sessions uh, as a kind of, of, of a gimmick to get people to come to my sessions. And so uh, this is one of those certificates. I'm gonna cover the number, uh, but it's actually from Grape City Software. And uh, they're one of my sponsors. Not only do they pay for me to go to some conferences, but they also donate some of these uh, certificates for me to give away. And this one's worth about $2,000, US dollars. And um, the last time I tried to give this away at a conference session, no one claimed it. So uh, some lucky person at the San Diego.net user group this Tuesday is gonna win this. I'm sure they're gonna be very happy. In my next pouch, I have my speaker, my battery powered speaker. It's Bluetooth, but I don't use the Bluetooth because it sucks up the battery more. But all my, present, all my presentations require audio. I said that earlier. And uh, those are, so this is my JBL uh, portable speaker. It works great. It goes pretty loud. I can probably do this in a 100 person room with no problems. And uh, of course, to go along with that, I have a, a cable, like I said, that uses less battery that way. In my next pouch, I have my audio recorder. 
And um, I can't show it to you from here because I'm actually wearing it right now. This is my Tascam audio recorder. I really like it. It's a little bigger and heavier than the last one, uh, but I do like it better. And uh, while I'm talking about this, I want to talk about speakers out there. Whether you're a new speaker, you've been speaking 25 more years like I have, you need to audio record every one of your sessions. I audio record every one of mine, no matter what. Um, even if I'm speaking at a company, at a company, uh, I audio record it. Why? There's a couple reasons. One is, one thing I found out after listening to myself and over and over again was before I used to hate to hear myself on overhead speakers because, you know, uh, we hear the speakers ourselves differently in the speakers than we do in our own head. Uh, so listening to myself over and over and over again, uh, that's completely gone away. I don't, speakers doesn't bother me uh, anymore. I used to hate wearing a microphone because that met speakers, and now I don't. Uh, the other thing is it makes you a better speaker. If you listen to yourself over and over again, you'll start changing your speaking behavior, hopefully for the better, and I have. I've become a better speaker while I've been doing this. I'm not a perfect speaker. I never will be a perfect speaker. Uh, but I do try to learn, and this is the best tool on learning besides getting feedback. Uh, the other thing is, uh, based on what I hear in the session, like people asking specific questions and things like that, I can actually change my presentation to be better the next time I do the session. Uh, and that's really hard to do while you're speaking. You know, I used to like to try to stop and make, take notes really quick. That doesn't work very well. I mainly did that when I was uh, teaching at a university. But uh, you can't stop and make notes. Uh, this is the best note taker you'll have at a conference. So make sure you buy an audio recorder, even if it's just your phone, and audio record every one of your sessions. But then most importantly, listen to them over and over again uh, to make yourself a better speaker. Next, I have a, um, a video recorder. Uh, when I can, I always try to video record my sessions. And uh, when I do, uh, I use those sometimes for uh, videos that I make or uh, movie trailers that I make on my conference tours, things like that. Uh, I also have a video series called Donet Dave Goes To, and it's about major conferences and countries I go to. I use uh, video for that too. And these days I use this. I actually bought this because I work for a lot of rock bands uh, like Queens Reich and Lid and Buck Cherry and and Gary Hoey and Eric Johnson and lots of bands like that, uh, most of all that I really like. I also have uh, my, uh, my USB Ethernet USB port adapter. Um, just in case I need it at conferences, um, I usually don't at the conference because I make sure all of my presentations do not require the internet. I'll write an article about that in the future. Uh, mostly I use this in the hotel room when I'm get preparing for the conference. And last but not least is my other pouch. And in here I have things like my gluten-free bars. Uh, whenever I travel, uh, I eat gluten-free, so whenever I travel I always have these with me uh, for the airplane or at conferences. All conferences I request gluten-free food, but I can never count on it. So I always have my gluten-free bars with me. I also have some... Uh, I also have some breath mints, just in case again. I also have some pain reliever, just in case I get a headache or something hurting. I also have lots of pens and markers, uh, you can see here. And uh, the Sharpies, of course, are mainly for if people ask me to autograph one of my books. And I'm always happy to do that, so I always have uh, Sharpies with me. And last but not least are my Donette Dave uh, custom guitar picks. So every year that I've had this rock and roll, crazy rock and roll theme to my guitar, uh, to my conference talks, I've thrown out uh, guitar picks to the audience to kind of wake them up or make them pay attention or just to be gimmicky. Um, I grew up in the music of uh, uh, gimmick rock bands like Kiss and bands like that. So um, this is my 25th anniversary guitar pick. You can see here on one side, it's got my logo. And on the other side, it's got the logo from Grape City, who is my sponsor to some conferences. And, um, and they also pay for these guitar picks. So thank you very much, Grape City, for the guitar picks.
Um, and uh, if you're lucky enough to get one of these when I throw them, these are actually the exact same type of guitar picks that I use from the same manufacturer, the same shape, same thickness, everything. Uh, except the ones that I use don't have these cool logos on it because I saved those for you. So those of you who buy my book at a conference, I'm very thankful of that. If you might buy my code performance book, all the profit goes to the Voice of Slum uh, in India. If you buy one of my other books, then all that profit goes towards me coming to see you in a city near you. So please buy one of my books online or at a conference so I can autograph it for you. So that's pretty much it. This is my case. This case has never failed me. I have backups of almost everything in this case, just in case. I used to be a Boy Scout, so I always come prepared. Very few times have I had to go to a conference organizer and ask them for something. I don't want to do that. There's very little time in between sessions to deal with things like that. So I always come prepared, always come uh, with everything I need. Uh, the only thing this doesn't hold is water. I wish it would hold water, uh, but I have another bag for that. So thanks a lot. I'm glad you stuck out longer than 256 seconds for this um, episode. I'll try to keep the next one at 256 seconds. I'll try not to uh, take a couple of years to put the next one out. And, um, and with that, I'll see you next time on 256 Seconds with Donna Day. Adios.